ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाक टेक यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू यूज ए ट्रांसफार्मर विद इन दी सर्किट विजिट सिमुलेटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू मस्ट नो दैट फॉर वट वी आर यूजिंग ए ट्रांसफार्मर इन साइड सिमुलेशन सो ट्रांसफार्मर इज ए डिवाइस दैट कैन आई दर स्टेप अप और स्टेप डाउन दी ए सी वोल्टेजेस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज दी ए सी वोल्टेजेस लाइक फ्राम टू ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेल्व वोल्ट ए सी और फ्राम ट्वेल्व वोल्ट टू सर्टन अदर वोल्टेजेस दैन वी कैन यूज दिस ट्रांसफार्मर डिवाइस सो फॉर इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू क्लिक ऑन फाइल एंड क्लिक ऑन न्यू देन देर आर टू ऑप्शन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स प्रोजेक्ट एंड एलिमेंट्री सर्किट यू नीड टू सिलेक्ट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स प्रोजेक्ट देन क्लिक ओके एंड देन यू आर सपोज टू गो टू द इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक फोल्डर अपार्ट फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक you can go and search for transformer inside the passive components like uh, here it is shown here so in inductors we are having our transformer so drag it out now you can see that the transformer is having windings on both sides on left side there is just one winding while on right side we can see two windings which are centrally taped mean that their both of their one ends are joined together so that uh, we can have this the, the the middle pin as the common pin so now we will use our ac supply with this device so go to power supplies and just take our ac voltage source we need to combine our ac source with the windings of this transformer and on output side we can we can fix our or we can attach our voltmeter so that we can observe the uh, reading so or uh, it is better not to use this one but to digital multimeter so this with negative so that we can observe properly now is the ac waveforms are always changing so we can we can observe a lot of voltages okay but now the voltages are in millivolts so what actually the transformer is doing transformer frequency is 1 hertz sorry the ac frequency is 1 hertz and its rms voltages are 10 volt so we need to so on on primary side we can say uh, like it's up to our choice that there any side as primary side and any side as secondary side S means that where where we want our output is the secondary side okay and where we want our input is the primary side moreover trans a transformer is not basically a step up or step down these are just the modes a single transformer can be used in step mo up mode or step down mode so here our frequency is this so okay now we will click on transformer so the winding ratios are 10 ratio 1 why it is so because uh 10 ratios are on this side the primary side and one uh one one on on what's called as one turn on the secondary side okay now can we uh make it like this so can be increased 10 ratio 10 yes it it is now called as one to one transformer so the output input must be their own output so can we see it okay so it is 239 millivolt and 683 millivolt and it is in millivolts or what like 
okay wait wait let, let me see it properly double click on it okay we, we can increase the ratio to 20 now we will see what will happen now you can see that now it is in volts okay so now it is 10 volts 13 6 and 9 and 13 and 8 so it's uh, highest maybe touching like 15 18 or like this okay okay we can use a capacitor okay if you want to observe okay okay now can we increase some more voltages on the secondary side yes we can increase the winding and okay so we can increase so it is 10 ratio of 40 so here you will see some more voltages now you can see our transformer is converting 10 volt rms to 28 volts one more thing for better uh, we can change the frequency okay so so now you can see now 10 volt is converted to minus 43 or plus why it is minus because ac is changing it's uh, what's called as the uh, direction so minus represents opposite direction and nothing more so here minus 42 and like this sometime positive like 19 volt positive and like this so it will uh, change its direction so hopefully you got the concept that how we can use a transformer within the circuit wizard simulator so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel